Hello, this is Games Are Things, and welcome to my video on getting all four prosthetics related trophies in Sekiro. The first one is just received after you obtain your Shinobi prosthetic right after the tutorial boss, and after that I will then cover all the prosthetic tools. The shuriken wheel is in the second floor of the gate right before the first general mini boss. Robert's firecrackers is sold by the crow memorial mob after the first general mini boss. He is located on the highest cliff. It will cost you 500 sen. For the next three prosthetic tools, you will need to get the Young Lord's Bell Charm. You can receive it from the old lady in the destroyed house near the Crow Memorial Mob. As you make your way through Harada Estate, you'll come across an area where you have quite a few thieves around a campfire with many items. One of those items is the flame barrel. Also, do a better job of actually taking care of them all than I did, because it was pretty sad. Now continue past the campfire and go into the enclosure on the left. You will see two highwaymen talking next to a shrine, and in that shrine is the shinobi axe of the monkey. Behind the shinobi hunter, go all the way up the bamboo thicket slope, and when you come to the bridge, jump off to the right and find yourself a hidden path. At the top of that hidden path will be a shrine guarded by a lone shadow, and the shrine is Miss Raven's Feathers. I've always seemed to struggle with this fight early game for some reason, so sorry it's going to look very bad. At the entrance to Ashina Castle, grapple to the left. Kill the spearman on the bridge and he will drop the gatehouse key. Take that key to the Ashina Reservoir and then go to the gatehouse at the beginning of the tutorial, open up the front door, and Gyobu's broken horn will be in the chest.
in the upper tower of Ashina Castle, jump down to the ground floor, and then the chest behind the samurai and soldiers will be the Sabimaru. At the old grave idol, jump onto the wall on the left, and then jump down into the hole in the ceiling of the building below. You will find Black Hat Badger, and he will sell the Iron Fortress for 1600 sen. After the long arm mini boss in the gun fort, the large fan is on the altar. The slender finger belonged to Kingfisher, which was the sculptor's mentor long ago, until she got eaten by the guardian ape. So in order to get this prosthetic tool, you need to go kill him at the end of Sunken Valley and fish it out of his stomach. Once you do that, return to the dilapidated temple, attach all the prosthetic tools, and you should have your trophy. Now there are two trophies regarding upgrading the prosthetic tools. Now most of the materials are relatively common or you can farm them from enemies, but three of them are unique and we will cover those next. But first, in order to upgrade them, you need to get the mechanical barrel from Gyo. From the watermill, go across the lake to the other end of Mipu Village, and then head down the left path, and at the top of the house in the back will be the pine resin ember. This is required for a flame vent upgrade. And don't bother fighting the villagers like I did, because they just endlessly respawn. It's, there's no point in doing it, unless you're farming experience and money, I guess. Ayama the Peddler sells the Phantom Kunai for 3,000 cents. I guess he looted it off of Lady Butterfly's corpse after you killed her in Harada Estate three years ago. Yeah, that's business, I guess. What's up? For the next unique material, you'll need to kill the Headless Ape next to the Poison Pool and finish him off with the Red Mortal Blade. After that, the second Shichiman Warrior should spawn in his burrow. Now warp away and return to the poison pool. 
Then go back to the Headless Safe boss arena and kill the Shichiman warrior and he will drop the Malcontents ring which is needed for a finger whistle upgrade. Lapis Lazuli is a rare upgrade material that can only be found after breaking the Iron Code. You will need 10 total to max out all the upgrades, but there are only 6 per cycle, so you will need to go into New Game Plus to complete the All Upgrades trophy. Two of them can be bought from the Pot Noble and Fountainhead Palace for carp scales. After you find the feeding grounds, talk to the Pot Noble and listen to a secret, and then feed the carp the truly precious bait. This will transform the Pot Noble, and in his empty pot will be another Lapis Lazuli. You can find out more details in my miscellaneous trophy video. At the bottom of the waterfall in Fountainhead Palace is the third Chichiman warrior. Kill him for a Lapis Lazuli. The last two Lapis Lazuli are rewarded for killing the Demon of Hatred on the Ashina outskirts after you defeat the Divine Dragon. Perform one upgrade using Lapis Lazuli to get the Lazuline Upgrade Trophy. Perform all the upgrades to get the Master of the Prosthetic Trophy. If you need Fulminated Mercury, just farm Ministry Red Guard Soldiers. Hey, thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, you know, the usual stuff. Let me know what you liked about the video or what you think I could improve on. And if you found my guide helpful, then share it with your friends. But otherwise, have a good one.